Hello YouTube! Thought we'd do a video here today on some connectors, uh, pigtails, what type of connector do I have, what type of connector do I need to get uh, to hook up my GMRS two-way radio uh, gear, whether it's a duplexer, amplifier, you want to take the antenna off your handheld, um, all those other possible combinations. Now, obviously, I cannot do every connector that's out there, you know, uh, for this video. But I'm hoping to give you a good idea of what the terminology is to help you find what you need. So I think what we're going to do is the first part of this video, we're going to explain and show you the different types of connectors. And then after that, I will show you how to look them up on eBay so you can try to find what you need. So let's start off with the most common, or it seems to be the most common, when people buy the Surecom meters, SWR watt meters. And that's what this is right here. I did a video on this type of meter. And uh, if you can buy a different brand, I would highly recommend that. This is not as accurate as my videos have shown, but that's a whole nother video. But anyway, any rate, this is the most common type of meter people may buy, whether it's a, a Surecom or a different brand. And the connectors on here are called SMA connectors, okay? Uh, actually, what's exactly on here is the female version of the SMA connectors on both sides okay so if you need to find a connector for this you would look for the male SMA connector okay so that's one type of connectors that are used another type here is the amplifier Redivus RT90 RT91 amplifier now this uses for a input uh, SMA connector, uh, female, and then this also uses a female, which is also called an SO259 connector, okay? Kind of like the CB connectors back in the CB days, if some of you done CB, but that's what um, that connector is called. So you would need a male PL259 connector to fit on here. And you would need a male SMA connector to fit on here. Okay. Uh, another good example is radials. Let's take uh, this Baofeng UV5R radio. And let's take the Redivus RT85 uh, radio. As you can see, they use different types of antenna connectors. Okay. The bow thing use, uses a, here's the antenna for the bow thing, uses a female SMA connector, which screws in to the antenna like that. Okay? That's a female one. The rest of this is the opposite. They have a female SMA connector on here, but the antenna is a male SMA connector. So that's how you tell the difference. Let me hold them both up. So that's this one. This is the Redivus, and this is the ball thing. Okay? So, again, the Baofeng uses the female SMA connectors to screw inside of here like this. Rudivus has the opposite. You need a male. Obviously, I cannot take a, I cannot take a Baofeng antenna without an adapter. It won't work. So... This is a male, so means I need a female antenna. Okay, so hopefully that kind of 
helps explain that. So keep that in mind when you look at your radio, what type of end you need if you want to run an external antenna. So another thing, another type of con uh, connector is used quite a bit are N connectors. Like this duplexer has what they call a N connector. And I will show you what that looks like. That's what the N connector looks like. So this on here, it's female N connectors. So if I wanted to hook this duplexer up to my SWR meter, then what I would need would be a male end connector to a male SMA connector. So it would go like this. Let's put this over here. So let's say I want to hook this up. I'd hook this end up here. Okay. And now I would hook on the transmit part of the SDL barometer. I would hook up. I'd screw this in on the transmit side, which would actually be like this. And then I'd screw that in there. So again, male SMA to male end connector. Now these are, now remember, this is an end connector, not a P259 connector. Here's the P259 connector, the difference. This one here is what was used, or still is probably, in the CB world. Okay, but these are these, these are different. N connector, P259 connector. Okay, so those are kind of the basic um, types of connectors that you're probably going to encounter to go ahead and hook up your radio gear. Now there's different ways you can do this. Now let me show you an example. Let's take this amplifier and I want to adapt the 259 to an SMA so I could do it either A with just a regular adapter like this with no, no cable or I could get a cable to whatever length I want that has the connector on it. So there's two ways you can do this. Either a pigtail, they call this a pigtail cable, or just an adapter. Now there's pluses and minuses of, of each obviously. This adapter, you don't have to worry about the wire going bad. But if you're in a tight spot, you may not be able to get this on here and then get your meter on here You know, that don't give you a lot of room. With the pigtail, you can hook this up. And now you can, you know, kind of flex this the way you need it to hook up your meter. Okay? So that's the difference between a pigtail and a adapter. I, I call these adapters because there's no wire on them. Okay? So now let's go ahead and how do I look this up? So let's use this for an example. I need to look up, I want to hook up my meter here that has the SMA connectors. I want to hook up the meter on the antenna out of this amplifier to test my SWRs. Let's move this down. So I need to find a cable. I, if for my particular example, I don't want to use an adapter. I don't want to use this. I want a pigtail cable. Actually, this one's one that I ordered to the length I wanted. Sometimes you can pick what length too, depending on the eBay seller. Okay? So, what I need is going to be a male 259 to a male SMA. So let's go to eBay here. Let's type it in. Male 259 to male 
SMA. Enter. Okay, so now here's the adapters. You got to kind of look at that um, to make sure that it's the right, you know, type. This is actually a female one that they're showing here, which is exactly the same what we have on here. So this would not work. So you got to kind of look at it. See, that's, nope, that's, that's a female. So that won't plug in there. So we got to find, ah, here we go. Now we're getting there. This is the male. So we got to, you know, but if we want to cable a pigtail, Nope, that's a female. They're showing female. That's what it says here, right here in the ad. And of course, as you see, I didn't type in the PL. You can put the PL there if you wanted, right here. Obviously, you'll still find it. So let's keep looking here. Oh, wait, here we go. This is a male. Okay, just look three. Okay, that's good. RG three sixteen. Oh. This one's had different pricing, so that means it probably lets you select a length. Let's click on that. Oh, yes, these are the ones I like because I get to select what length I want. And is it in, oh, it is in New York, so that's better yet, it's not in China. So now I get to select the length I want. Six inches a foot, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I always like looking at the picture, okay, because, let me see if I can show you an example here. I always make sure that right here let's click on this right here make sure that's a male they sell they sell ones that look like a male but it's missing the tip okay so i always like to look at that and make sure this picture yep that's what we need i need that to go in there that has the the uh, male on there if you type it in mail, you should be okay, but I always double check. I like using the RG316 uh, cable because it's flexible. So th this one's kind of nice. This particular seller, you can select a length. Not all of them, you're able to do that. But this is the cable I would need to hook up my amplifier to my SWR slash watt meter. Okay? So now... Let's say I want to, I need a end connector. Let's, let's, let's do it like this. Let's say, let's put this over here. Let's get my duplexer out. And I want to hook up my meter to my antenna. So I'm going to need, again, I'm going to need a male SMA to a male end connector. So let's type that in. So we're going to go male SMA to male N connector. Hit enter. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So now, now see some of them have like this particular, that's from China. So you got to be careful. I mean, you can get it from China. I'm not nothing against that, but you, you're going to wait a while. Another one from China. Okay, this one right here. All right, this looks like to be the one. Now, if I want, now this is not a pigtail. This is just an adapter. It's got a male SMA. So let's click on that just to kind of show you an example here. Hopefully, they got decent pictures. Sometimes they, this one only has one picture. Um, but this is a male SMA. So that part would hook on to my meter. And the other part, they say, is a male. I like, you know, I, I like looking at pictures. So I, that ad, I don't like that because they don't have, they don't have uh, good enough pictures for me. Um, so let's go ahead and go back. And that one is actually in California. I like eBay because it's got free shipping. Um, unless you buy a few cables, you know, then it, you might be able to find them on Amazon. So let's type in male SMA to male N connector. Okay. So now we're going to go back. That's one we just did. Let's try to find a pigtail. Let's see if we can find a pigtail with a wire. 
Let's see if we can find one. Sometimes you can't, then you got to run an adapter. That's a six foot, but that's a female. So, yeah, that's a female. It's not it's the same end as, as on the meter. Let's see if we can find a pigtail. Here's one, but that's, oh wait, that's, well, from China. So again, it seems like a lot of them that you can select the length are from China. So let me see if we can find one here. If not, and I'm not going to scroll through page and pages, but what you could do too, if push comes to shove, and I'll show you what I had to do. Let me show you here. So what I did was, this is a good example. This is a good time to show you. I bought a male SMA to male SMA. I don't know if this is six inches or what this is. A foot maybe. Connector. And then I end up buying an adapter that had a female SMA on it to male end connector. And I just hooked the two together like this. Let me do it here and I'll show you. I just screw the adapter on. Now I can go ahead and hook this up. I don't like doing that. I prefer I don't want to run, you know, a lot of adapters. But if you're if you're in a pinch and that's what you gotta do, that's one way of doing it. So like this one right here, this is a uh male to male. This one right here would work. Looks like it. The end is gonna be kind of pointy in there. See how that looks? So you can always double check that. So the one right here looks just like the one I have on, actually. Now that one is a male to male. Um, in my case, I would need male to female to fit my SMA cable. See how it, see how the female looks? So that's because of the cable I'm using. I have SMA, male SMAs on both ends. Okay? So, I hope this kind of gives you an idea how to look things up. Like I said, you can try Amazon, um, and they may, you know, have what you need. But I think, uh, don't think bad about Amazon, unless you got Amazon Prime or whatever, you're going to have to pay the shipping cost. So, I like using eBay when it comes to this. Now, sometimes the ads will have two and be careful because sometimes they show two pictures and it's only actually one. So keep that in mind too, just because they show two pictures, like here they show two pictures. This is from China. So you'd have to see if this is not what I'm looking for, but this is just an example. Um, you'd have to make sure they're actually selling two because like I said, some of them do show two pictures, but you only get one. It's each, each item. Um, here is a, this, this right here might be the one I needed. Uh, well, again, from China. So uh, you got to just, you know, like I said, it's not terrible ordering from China, but I prefer the USA because then you get free shipping. And it comes faster. So, and this one right here might be what, okay, this might be the cable. If you have a SMA to SMA cable, like I have here, male SMA to male SMA cable, then I would need, it looks like, that looks like to be it. That would be a female SMA to male end connector. So end male to, yep, so this one would be, the, this would be the adapter that I would need, which is this adapter, except for mine's got a gold connector, and that's no big deal, don't have to be gold. But this is, this is, that is this, this that in the picture is this connector. So, I hope um, this video kind of help you get in the right direction. Uh, I know it can be kind of confusing. Like I said, I can't cover all the connectors, but I hope it'll kind of give you an idea how to look them up so that if you need to either get a pigtail or if you got to run adapters, you'll know what to do. And maybe perhaps, maybe we'll have someone, you know, I'll post some links in the description to a couple of these ads. But I can't, it's hard for me to post it because I don't know what you need. I'll try to post that one that lets you select the, the size. I like those because those, those are nice. You can, and then if you don't know what, well, what length do I need? Use a piece of string. 
that's what I do. I take a piece of string, I tape it, I tape it on here, and then I and I loop my string to where I need to go, and then I cut the string, and then I measure the length of the string. That kind of tells me what I need for uh, pigtail wire length. And maybe perhaps we'll have some post or commenters that will post some links in the in the uh, comment section on where to get other ones that let you select the length. Maybe some of them out there, some people out there may have a, a website that's not that don't use eBay. So that would be great if they would post those links in the comments too. So hopefully this will help you. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.